Hey guys, so I'm just gonna do the first video of my series about um, how to get an A in A level sciences. So the first video I'm gonna do is how to get an A in A level biology and this is um, Edex cell biology. Um, I'm gonna show you also all the resources that I have. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so first off, these are my textbooks that I have. This is the um, AS one, and this is the A2 one. Oops. Sorry, A2 NES. Um, these ones were the ones that they gave us in class, so that the teachers, like at school, gave us. Um, for AS, I think that this one should be fine for you. It's got a lot of diagrams and a lot of information that I think won't be too bad if you know it. I think it'll benefit you. So I think definitely this one's fine to use for a yes. And maybe supplement it with a few books that I'll show you later. But for yes, this is fine. Um, for a two, I don't suggest that you stick with this one. Um, how our teacher basically taught us was that she used to use this book and from this book make um, PowerPoint presentations, basically just like kind of copying this book and then would like in class make us basically um, copy the information. And I think that's kind of a waste of class time and it really isn't that useful for studying because you really won't be retaining any information. Um, this book is good, but the problem with these is that they have a lot of text. I mean, a lot of text. It is just text and it is just kind of like really not that great because they just like kind of rant a lot and they go on about stuff that you really don't need to know. So I don't suggest you use this one. What I do suggest is that you get yourself from Amazon, a link below, this baby. Yep. This one is the Salters and Nut Field. And this book is really great. It's not too big, like, it's very thick, but it's not too big. It's like really small actually compared to the other ones. And the reason this one is so good is because on the inside, first of all, the information is quite condensed and you do only have the knowledge. Like there is only the stuff you need to know, which makes it a lot better to read because you're not wasting your time. And what it has is these really great diagrams one here. They're all over the book and these diagrams are actually used in the Edexcel um, papers. Like this one for example has been in a question and pretty much all of them have been used by Edexcel in papers. So it's really great because this one as well for example um, and they've all been used and what's great about this is that um, this sort of prepares you because if you've seen it in your textbook and then you see it um, Again, on the paper, you're, you'll be prepared, and I think anything you can do to help you is great. So, um, basically how I studied for A-level was I um, got myself this, and I just basically learned it, and how I learned it off by heart was by reading a few pages without music. Remember, don't use music because that really will distract you, and you're not going to be retaining any information, so I really suggest that you um, do not study while well listening to music. Basically, you want to take a few, like the first few pages, read them through. Um, if you've reached a paragraph by the end and you haven't really retained information, go back, read it again, make sure you've understood what it said, and then like for example where there's like words in bold, you want to like copy the word maybe in a color and just write the definition and like read it through and make sure you're really retaining. So this method of learning really helps you just like learn the first time through. And so the next time you do it, it'll just be sort of revising and not just like wasting time and then having to go back and relearn it all in one month before the exam because that's just really stressful. So best tip I can give you is really just start early, start working hard from the start and not crazy in the end where you're just like crying and you can't do it so use this do that for the whole chapter and it, it's, it's actually quite interesting like it's even if you don't love science it's still like 
quite interesting because it makes it quite simple. It uses his diagrams, which I'll reference again later. Basically, just use this, get yourself one of these. Um, I don't have the AS one, though they do sell it. Um, I didn't get it because I kind of, when I ordered them, I didn't really get it. They didn't send it to me. So, um, in the end, I just decided it was the resources I had were just kind of fine, so I didn't get it. But if you want to use it, I think it's great as well. But definitely get this one. It is a little bit expensive. I think it's like 45 euros on Amazon. Um, but it's really good. So invest in this. It'll really help you. Um, okay, next. Um, I have these as well that I got for myself. They're, they are a little bit older. They're again, um, XL, sorry. Um, and these are the CJ Clegg. Of them. I think they used to use these for class a while ago, but they are quite old. These are more like like study guides, even though they're they don't look like study guides, but it is quite condensed in knowledge. And they're good to supplement even this one, but this one doesn't need any supplementing, but they are good to have. Just to look over, just if you don't understand something, it's always good to read it in another book. Because maybe they word it differently and that may help. So I think do get yourself these um, if you just need a supplement um, for what you already have. Okay, next I have these, which I also bought. Um, these were, I don't remember how much they were. They're not that expensive, but they are quite good. The AS one, not that great. The A2 one is quite good. Although I do really, really, really recommend that you don't just use these. Don't be like those people. I know that there are people that do that, that don't really do that much work and then they're like, ooh, revision guide, I can just use this and that's it. No, these really, you'll honestly, you'll get like a D or a C if you just use these. You really need a, quite a lot of knowledge for A level. It's quite, you know, detailed and you really need this much, unfortunately. Next, um, what I also suggest you do, which is what I did, is for each sort of topic, make yourself papers like these that are kind of nice, nice pen and color and just um, for each topic, like I have one for glycolysis as well here. These really help because they're quite pretty and they're quite nice and you can just read them over and then redo them and do them over and over again until you're sure you know it and make like little diagrams this is for um, filament theory muscles and stuff these really helped me um, but then the most important thing well here I can also make um, I made like diagrams always from the book I showed you before um, this thing, sorry these are for like the viruses I made like little diagrams which are really helpful um, the most important thing so I'll show you next is uh, this flashcards um, these are all my, you see I have quite a lot, it's quite a thick um, notch of these. Um, how I did these was basically, once I had all the knowledge, and remember you need to know all the knowledge before you do this, because if not you're wasting past papers, because at Excel does not have that many past papers. So definitely um, go ahead and learn all the knowledge, then start doing past papers timed, because you're not going to have that much time. Do them timed. And then once you're done, make a little list of like questions you got wrong, copy down the answer from the mark scheme because the mark schemes of Edexcel are really, really good. They're very um, schematic. They have like bullet points, which is all stuff you need to know. So once you've done that, corrected it, you're gonna wanna start doing this. And basically like, copy the question in one color and then do the answer like all in bullet points um, in another color. You're gonna wanna do this for all the past papers you do and you'll end up with a lot. Um, and these are really good to study. Like you just cover the answer and you just use these. By the end, you should only be using this and you'll know you're doing it right and you'll get a good grade. So definitely do this. Like really, this is the key to a good grade in biology, flashcards. Do them, do them, do them. Um, if you wanna use like, I have like colored ones as well. These really help as well, colors really help to study. Um, I use white ones because I'm lazy <laughs> to go find colored ones. Um, 
but really, really do this. And that's pretty much it. Like if you start working from the first term, like from the start of the year, um, you'll end up with like not that much work to do by the end, just this to revise and you'll be great and you'll have like a fun summer because you won't be too stressed about how you did because you know you'll have done good. So I am, um, that's it. That's how to get an A in A level biology. Um, remember, stay focused and stay tuned for my next videos about um, A level chemistry as well. And that's it. Study hard.